What's up my financial fit fam and welcome back. Today we're gonna to start off a little bit differently. I'm gonna ask you to smash the like button and also subscribe if you haven't done that already. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the growing industry of the cannabis market, where it stands, what regulation has changed to make it successful going forward, and where your best investment opportunities lie. So let's get going. There were five states that had the legalization of marijuana on their ballots back in November, and all five states passed. Now these states include Arizona, Mississippi, Montana, New Jersey, and South Dakota. That's in alphabetical order. With the sentiment around marijuana becoming more and more relaxed and a better understanding of its medical benefits, it seems like more and more states are opening up to the idea of legalizing cannabis. Eventually, it seems inevitable that the federal government would also legalize cannabis for the entire country. Now, this might seem like a far-fetched idea, but it might actually be happening sooner than we think. On Friday, December 4th, the House of Representatives passed legislation that would legalize marijuana from the federal level. Now, the Moore Act actually decriminalizes marijuana as a controlled substance and would also expunge some marijuana-related criminal records. Now, this bill was more so introduced to decriminalize weed versus legalize it. Can I say weed? Is, is that acceptable? Currently, 15 states have legalized adult use, while 36 have legalized marijuana for medical purposes. While a symbolic accomplishment, it is likely that this bill will get stalled in the Senate. But with decriminalization being possible and a president that seems like it would be supporting of marijuana legalization, it seemed like a topic worth talking about. These are my three favorite plays in the cannabis industry, and what you'll notice is that they're not all individual stocks. The first of which is CGC, the Canopy Growth Corporation. This is probably one of the most largely well-known companies within the space, and they actually produce, distribute, and sell both medical and recreational use marijuana to the United States, the UK, Canada, and Germany. Canopy was the first licensed and regulated grower in North America, they have over 111 patents and 270 applicators to their products. In 2018, Canopy Growth created a partnership with Constellation Brands, which is the largest importer of beer in the United States. Canopy's free cash flows increased by 57% year over year, while cutting down on its operational costs by 19%, helping its bottom line. They're also showing an increase in revenues of about 76%, from 226 million in 2019 to almost $400 million here in 2020. While you might be saying to yourself that's incredible growth, no pun intended, they're still not a profitable company. Their market cap's just below $10 billion, and they trade right around $26.50 per share. Now this one might be my favorite one in the entire cannabis space, and that's the Innovative Industrial Properties, IIPR. Now as you probably can tell, this is not a stock, this is a REIT, and they invest in greenhouses and also industrial facilities to grow medical cannabis. Now if you compare it to a company like Canopy Growth, which has been sitting at half of its all-time highs, also no pun intended, and it's been struggling for the past two years, IIPR is quite the opposite story. It's actually up 150% since that time, and it's currently sitting at all-time highs of around $160. They currently own 58 properties with over 4.4 million rentable square foot space. And get this, they have an occupancy rate of over 99%. Uh, hello. Imagine if you owned an apartment building or a hotel and you had 99% occupancy rate and that was consistent uh, uh, hello again i'm not the only one that loves this pick there are several analysts in this space that also love this REIT. they have three strong buys three buys and one hold and my last pick and gosh the ticker symbol on this one just gives it all away it goes by the ticker symbol yolo so y-o-l-o and this is the advisor share us pure cannabis etf it was established back in August of this year. This is an actively managed ETF that spans across multi-state operators. So as more states open up to cannabis, this ETF should also do well. Now they span over multiple businesses and they focus specifically on cannabis companies here in the United States. This ETF hosts about 30 companies which helps mitigate your risk and diversify your portfolio for you. So instead of betting on one stock in the cannabis industry, you can go with an ETF and that helps give you diversification and a little bit more safety. The expense ratio to this ETF is 0.74%, which compared to average actively managed ETFs, that's not outrageous. 
the average seems to be right around 0.69%. As more states open up to the idea of legalizing marijuana and now it's on the federal level where we could see decriminalization and eventually legalization at some point, it seems inevitable that this is a growing industry. It's something that with a little bit of an investment can help diversify your portfolio and still lend you into some gain in the future. I personally have not made any investments in the cannabis industry. And remember, I am not a financial professional. Always speak with a financial professional before making an investment. As always, save, invest, and grow. Ciao, ciao.